After the First World War, most people assumed that trench warfare would still be the norm, which led to a lot of interwar tanks looking like this. Basically, giant multi-turreted land ships. This one is the Soviet T-35, and it has three turrets. One with a 76 and two with 45 mils. It's not very well armored, but it is extremely good, so let's take it out and have some fun. Oh no. We're gonna be fighting in the Thunderdome. Okay, I guess I'm using HE for the 76. That's just what I had on it. I imagine it's pretty useful for dealing with open top vehicles, so... Yeah. I trust my past self. If it doesn't work out though, we can blame my past self. I am free of guilt. Are there any bad guys around here? Oh, there's a bad guy. Unfortunately, I hit him with the wrong cannon. Use the right cannon on that guy, though. Oh, there's a guy right there. Actually, what is that? Oh, it's an L-33. Oh, <laughs> that feels so mean. Oh my goodness. There's something right next to me. Oh, hello. Okay, he is very... Oh my goodness, the amount of fire spewing out of that. I would say he's pretty dead. Like, 9 out of 10 dead. What just shot me? Hello? Oh, uh, let's see if we can trick him. No, I think he's a little too smart for that. Oh, wait. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, it wasn't the Swedish thing, it was, uh, Panzer 35T. To be fair, the Swedes do also use that tank, so... Uh, uh, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's why we, uh, take HE for the 76. Hello. Goodbye. Bro is completely oblivious. Oh, I think this guy is oblivious, too. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Oh. Uh... Nope, that was a whiff. Ooh. <laughs> what an absolute massacre. I can't even see what's going on because of all the fire and smoke. Oh. Come on. I can't see anything. <laughs> uh... Okay, got that guy. <laughs> it's like jamming my brain, dog. Uh... <laughs> yeah, taking HE on the 76, definitely a smart decision, I think. Okay, he's dead. That was a Swedish thing, not German. Ow. Oh wait, this turret still works. <laughs> I love it! It's so good! Alright, it looks like all of our turrets are still operational. That's good. I thought I would need to warm up first, but I guess not. I mean, we are basically three tanks in one at this VR, so it does make sense. We have just got an entire platoon in our tank. I don't know how a tank like this would work organizationally, but I imagine it must have been a nightmare. Like, yes sir, half of our unit is dedicated to crewing this singular vehicle. Oh, what, it got bombed and they all died? Whoopsie. The turret traverse speed on this is really good. So you're not very easy to flank, especially since, you know, you have a turret pointing off to the side. Um, I don't think that trees should be absorbing APHE rounds, but what do I know? Oh, something just shot me inside. I am unbothered, though. Oh, hello. And goodbye. I love land ships in general, but this one is probably the best. And the most fun. I just, I feel like a pirate, you know? Our life on the open sea. Oh, non-pen. That wasn't a non-pen. Bad guy on B. Do you mind? We're being assaulted by multiple planes. We're like the Bismarck. Or Yamato. Oh! We- <laughs> We just tapped him with the machine gun. Oh, there's a guy. 
And he's dead. He did get one of our crew members, though. Ow. Let's get the range on that. 400. Die, please. <laughs> uh, our secondary BT turret is non-operational. Come on. Get on target. Wait, why aren't you firing? There we go. I keep getting shot from random places and it just doesn't bother me at all. This right here is why I like playing low tier. I love maps like this. I know that most people generally don't agree, but my ADHD zoomer brain wants to get into the action immediately. Look at how absolutely massive we are, even compared to something like the T28. Oh, Rogo. I feel like that fan is a little bit exposed. I think we're ingesting like <laughs> two kilograms of dust every minute. Oh. I see exhaust over there. Got him. Whoa. No, please don't ram into me. What is going on with my game right now? Oh no, that was the main howitzer. I wanted the 45. Hold up. Oh, I see. Um. <laughs> we hit his ammo directly. Oh, that poor, pathetic thing. I want to try that, but I feel like it would be quite painful. Uh, it can't be worse than the L-33. We haven't died yet, have we? I don't even think we've come close to dying. We did have a pretty close call with that 20 mil Puma thing. That was very scary, but thankfully, the auxiliary turret pulled through. Very surprised we didn't one-shot that. The Russian 45 is one of my favorite cannons in this game. Ooh. Uh, that's quite unfortunate. There we go. Oh, I, I gotta use the main turret for this one. That was quite a whiff. How did that thing non-pen us? We have no armor. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Some French thing. Okay, there we go. It's broken! <laughs> I don't think there was enough explosive mass in that tank to make an explosion that big. That seems a little inaccurate. A little exaggerated, you could say. Well, I wonder if I can arc it. Oh, what is happening? Oh, my teammate's shooting me. Die, please. No, I need the secondary turret. Thank you. I'm being shot from every direction. I think I need the main turret with this one. I don't know. I still have not taken any damage so far. <laughs> this really is just egregiously mean. It's like kicking a toddler while he's down. Ooh. Um. Okay, there we go. Uh, I need this turret, please. I am not entirely sure what happened there. Okay, that guy's dead. Now, where is this thing? I am very overwhelmed right now. What is happening? <laughs> I can't even say anything. I'm just cackling like a madman. Oh my goodness. How are we still alive? We just engaged like an entire enemy platoon. How many kills do we have right now? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's a, a pretty fitting match to get Mark of Distinction on. How many kills do we have in total so far? So we got what? 12 in the first one? And then I think 8 in the second one. And then we got 18. <laughs> so we have 38 kills in total. And we haven't died once.
I'm telling you, man, the Russian 45 is one of the best cannons in the game, bar none. It does a ton of damage, has really good pen, and a pretty fast reload rate. I don't think we can be stopped, frankly. Unless we get smacked by a giant HE round while I'm not paying attention. And the thing is that we're not even slow. 28 kilometers per hour for a tank of this size isn't bad at all. We are not far behind the light tanks that are advancing in front of us. Oh, there's a man. Let's see if we can bop. Got his machine gunner. Stort, if you could stop getting in the way, that would be awesome. Okay, commander, loader, and he's dead. Oh, it looks like our right is collapsing pretty hard. Let's fill the gap, boys. We are just a mobile anti-tank unit, pretty much. Any bad guys over here? Not that I can see. Please do not do that. Yeah, autocannon vehicles do vaguely scare me, but we do have the crew to absorb at least one magazine. And damage control is reporting that all of our turrets are still operational. That is muy bien. There's a big HE thing off to my left. I'm wondering how we should go about this, because there is a fence between us and him. If I coordinate it so that we fire... Or you can be an idiot. <laughs> I was gonna say... If we coordinate it so that we fire the 76 and 45 at the same time, the 45 is faster, so it should take out the fence and allow the 76 to go through. But he, uh, he solved that problem for me. Oh, Panzer III, let's broadside him. What is going on in front of me? Okay, he's dead. You need help, man? I can help you. That did absolutely nothing to us. I think he's gonna try and strafe me. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna be super effective, man. Should try to use one of the 45s to shoot him. Ow. Yeah, please do not do that. Why is my 45... Okay, there we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, it might not be a good idea to try and shoot down that plane, because it's just gonna distract me. And it did. I think that's the second most annoying aspect about Cass. First would be revenge bombing. Second would be distracting me when I'm trying to engage tanks. I am very surprised. This thing is not sluggish at all. I mean, it's got a 500 horsepower engine, so it shouldn't be that surprising, but... It does also weigh like 50 tons. Oh, hello, big bomb. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty fitting, I think. Well, there is our first death, and it was, in fact, to a plane. But like I said earlier, I think we deserve that one after <laughs> everything we've done. There's copious amounts of low-tier player blood on my hands. Well, it would be fitting to end the video where we started. Back to the Thunderdome, boys. I don't think we'll do quite so well this match because it is a full up tier, but we should still do pretty well. Oh, we do have a Greyhound as backup though, so combining some of the most broken vehicles at low tier. Okay, that's one guy down. I can't tell if that's a... Okay, no, that is a car. It's pretty hard to tell at low tier because there are some very small and car-like looking vehicles. Okay, I know what's going on here. There's a guy hidden in a nook somewhere like over here he's preventing us from capping nope that did not do anything i didn't kill him or mark him but we did scare him enough that he moved off of the cap so that's good <laughs> splashed it off the building you thought you could be cheeky no sir yeah, I think past me definitely had the right idea bringing HE for the 76. I have no idea what range that is. Uh, non-pen. Is that not an open-top Swedish thing? Okay, no, it's not open-topped. Got him. Yeah, I thought I was being cheeky using HE, but he countered me with roof. Oh, wow. That's the first time I've ever seen an Electo kill something. Oh, there's another T-35. Let's go link up with him. 
Let's go form a battleship battle group. Uh... Okay, we got a hit. This is- Oh! <laughs> no way! There's no way! I was just about to say that the 76 is not the most ideal anti-air weapon given how low velocity it is, but we just absolutely crumped that man. Annihilated him from existence. So yeah, that's the Soviet T-35 heavy tank land ship. As you saw, it is just obscenely good. One might even say it's a little overpowered. I think probably 1.7 would be alright for it. I think if you moved it up any further than that, it would just be useless. But yeah, it's incredibly fun to play. It's a better naval experience than War Thunder's actual naval game mode. Anyway, if you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.